Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can snap windows in Windows 11. Snapping has been around since Windows 7, but I still think there's quite a few people out there that don't understand exactly how easy and helpful this tip can be. What I'm gonna teach you is how you can snap windows using the keyboard shortcuts, using the mouse, and of course, using touchscreen. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and of course, if you're gonna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. The first way I'm gonna teach you to use Snap is using the mouse on your computer. You can see here that we have four programs open. We have a Edge Explorer, I've got OBS for recording the audio, Word, and of course, PowerPoint. And none of these windows are actually located anywhere neatly on the desktop. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna use Snap to rearrange and organize our desktop. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab Microsoft Edge because that's a program I wanna use, and I can push it to the top of the screen and you can see here when I push it to the top of the screen, it gives you this opaque window and it shows you it's gonna take a full screen of Microsoft Edge. I let go and Microsoft Edge takes over the full screen. And that's really nice to just snap for a full screen view. But if you want two windows side by side, you can do this, but instead of going to the top, you wanna to go either to the left or to the right. So watch what I, when I do that now. I'm gonna grab Microsoft Edge and instead of going to the top of the screen, I'm gonna push it to the right hand side. When I push it to the right hand side and before I let go, I get that opaque window again saying, hey, this app is gonna snap on the right hand side. When I let go of the mouse, it's gonna also say on the left hand side, hey, you've got these other programs open. You've got OBS, you've got Word, you've got PowerPoint. Which one of these programs do you wanna have open on the left hand side? So I'm gonna select on Microsoft Word and there it is. I've now snapped Word on the left hand side and Edge on the right hand side. So it's really simple. All you gotta do is grab the program from the top bar, so that little address bar at the top of it, move it around and push it to the top to go full screen, push it to the left to go on the left of the screen, or of course, push it to the right to go to the right hand side of the screen. It's really simple, it's really easy, and it's really effective. You can see in this view here that I've also just left the mouse hovering over the square on the top right hand corner of the application. We're gonna go through this in a little bit more detail but this is a new feature in Windows 11 that actually gives you the ability to snap the window in a few different orientations. You can have the side-by-side -side view. You could have it side and two applications, top and bottom. You could go into the quadrant view of that app and you can do this by simply snapping the app on the right-hand side and then hovering over that application on the square in the top right-hand corner to bring up this little context menu. I personally feel this view here of having to snap it and then use the squares to choose a different orientation is a little bit messy. And Microsoft has actually addressed this in an update of Windows 11. And I'm gonna show you what the update looks like now to give you more options when you're snapping your windows and just make this a smoother transition. I'm gonna take Microsoft Word off the screen here or just take it off the snap. And I'm gonna grab the top bar and I'm gonna move it around the screen. What you may notice is at the top of our window here you get this little opaque, it's like a little peaking thing at the top and it just sort of pops down when I'm grabbing and holding onto the window. And when I let go, it disappears. I'm gonna grab and hold and then I'm gonna push it up and then instead of letting go and going full screen, you can actually see here that I now have these different windows pop up. And I can choose to go uh, snapping it to the left or to the right, or I can choose to snap it bigger on the left or smaller on the right. I can choose to snap it in the left or the top right quadrant or top uh, bottom left quadrant or put it into all four different quadrants of the window. And I think this is much easier than doing it the way I just showed you before. So what you wanna do again is grab the window, go to the top of the screen and this little opaque window pops up and then you can actually choose where you wanna drop your program in. I'm gonna go here, top left hand quadrant. Then it's gonna say, well, what other programs do you want? In the top right hand quadrant, I might put uh, PowerPoint. In the other quadrant, I might put OBS. So it's a really easy way to snap your programs into multiple windows on your one screen. I don't think this is very handy on a single laptop, but if you're connected to bigger screens, say larger monitors, external monitors, this view is really, really handy. The way I most commonly snap programs in Windows 11 is of course using keyboard shortcuts instead of using the mouse. To do this is really simple. You're gonna press the Windows key and then you're gonna press a directional arrow, whether it's up, left, right, or down. If you press Windows and up, that window is gonna to snap to the whole screen. If you press Windows and left, 
it's going to snap to the left hand side of the screen and then it's going to ask you what other program you want to snap on the right hand side uh, of course i'll then press windows up again to go full screen and if i press windows and down it's going to pull it out of that full screen view so this is what i find the fastest and easiest way to actually snap windows by pressing windows and up to go full screen windows and right to snap it to the right hand side windows and left to go to the left and windows and down to pull it out of the full screen view of course one thing i will teach you is that if you are here and you've snapped it to the left and the right if you press windows and the opposite direction so word if i go windows and left it's going to pull it out of the snap and then i've got to press windows left again to snap it to the left hand side so if you want to move it from side to side it's actually a double action of the windows direction direction so in this example it's windows left left because that way it takes it from the snap to the out and then to the other side of the screen the final way to snap windows in windows 11 is using touchscreen and this is really handy if you have a device that turns from a laptop into a tablet because sometimes you don't have the keyboard or a mouse connected so to do this is a very similar way to doing it with the mouse you grab the program that you're after from the top window you can move it around here you can see if I wiggle it around and move it to the top, this little context menu will appear again to make it easy to snap. I can choose where I want to drop it, or I can simply grab it, push it over to the top of the screen, go full screen, grab it again with my finger, pressing and holding and pushing it to the left hand side to snap it to the left, and then choosing the program on the right hand side. And again, grabbing it, moving it around, pushing it to the right, or pushing it to the top, or if I wanted to, grabbing it, and then putting it into those little context menus that put it into one of the quadrants. So there you guys have it. It is that simple to snap windows in Windows 11. I find snapping really easy and convenient, just really helps with the workflow. If you like these tips, let me know by giving them a thumbs up. And of course, if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.